Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got episode number one of the Real Madrid Classic League series here on PES 2020. And oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. This series should be very, very good. I did a similar series last year and really, really enjoyed it. So I've not been able to wait for the option files to come out in order to be able to bring this series to you. They finally came out over the weekend from the guys over at Pez Universe. I'm going to link to them down below. So if you want to download this option file for yourself, you can. And so, yeah, I'm very much looking forward to this. Let's go and jump straight into it. We're doing it in the normal league structure as opposed to the Master League, just because I want this to be more of a one-off season. I want it to be a thing with no transfers, nothing like that. Just all the players where you would expect them to be. So let's go down to the Classic League, and you can see the teams that are in this league. Arsenal, Chelsea, Ajax, Liverpool, Munich, Milan, Juventus, Benfica, Barcelona, Madrid, the old firm teams, a lot of legendary clubs all there. I'm so looking forward to this. So let's go into here and we'll go and put accumulated fatigue on. Everything else we're going to leave as is. Superstar, so we've got the biggest possible challenge. 10 minute match time, injuries of course, and of course the accumulated fatigue. And so I'm going to go and just skip through all of their teams. Feel free to pause it so you can see what teams have got what players. So if we just have a quick look at Arsenal, they've obviously got their legends. Henri, Burkamp, Vieira, Seaman, Adams. So lots of awesome players there. Chelsea, Drogba, Good Johnson, Zola, Lampard. And yeah, I can't run through all of these because obviously I don't want the video to be two hours long. But yeah, just going to go through them very quickly. Like I say, feel free to pause. And Classic Olympic Marseille, Munich, Dortmund, Milan, Inter Milan, Juventus. I've made one transfer in the database from the, from the option file as it comes standard. The change that I've made is I've moved David Beckham over from Man U over to Real Madrid just because in my opinion that is where Beckham played the best football of his career so yeah that's why I've done that that's the only change I have made and yep Valencia Celtic and Rangers Gazers at, Gazers at Rangers that's quite cool that'll be quite interesting to come up against so let's have a look and let's click on there who have we got first up Celtic, oh, winnable, very, very winnable game that you would think. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and change the tactics around for the team and I'll be back with you boys in just a minute when I've done that. All right, guys, here we are. This is how the team is going to be lining up for this game. Casillas in goal, Roberto Carlos as a left wing back, Hel Guerra, Herrero and Michel Salgado finishing off the back four. And then just want to move Figo a little bit more forward. Because if Carlos is going to be bombing forward, we don't want him banging into Figo all the time, do we? And so, yet Figo on the left, Zidane in the middle, alongside Redondo and David Beckham on the right-hand side. And then it's the dream team of Ronaldo. Actually, move him over there. And, yep, Ronaldo and Real. As for the Celtic team, we've got Bonner in goal. Boyd, Elliot, Malby. Malby, is that how you pronounce it? McGrain as their back four. Tommy Burns and Neil Lennon as their two central midfielders. Sinsuke Nakamura as the left winger. And then Joe Johnston on the right-hand side. And then B. Lennox and Charlie Nicholas. As their two strikers there. Why they haven't gone for Larson up top? I'm not sure. But whatever floats their particular boat. Let's go and get into the game. 
Here we are guys, the Santiago Bernabeu and the players are all getting ready to walk out onto the pitch. There you can see Hierro Casillas and a couple other of the Celtic players and Real Madrid fans are all ready for this. This should be a decent game, I'm looking forward to this. And let's go and get to the kickoff. And it's Ronaldo to start the game off as I swing myself round. Redondo with it to Salgado. To Beckham who's in space already. And all oh, Ray all's turned him there. Figo. He's got a chance for an early shot. And that was quite poor. And so Nakamura surely he's going to cross it in. It would be audacious to go for a shot from there. He hasn't. And now Neil Lennon. Wide to Boyd. And oh, what a save there from Casillas. That is a beautiful stop there. Now, how Guerra, Carlos. Plays it to Zidane. Into Raul. And Beckham. David Beckham is out wide. Oh, he's played it back. Raul. Yes. Completely against a run of play. And it's the main man, David Beckham, with a beautiful back heel that made it easy for Raul. Let's have a look at this on the replay. It was the pass here from Beckham that really made it. He could have crossed it, he chose not to. Back heeled it and Raul was never ever going to miss that chance, was he? Look how good Beckham looks on here. That is some brilliant work there from the lads at Pez Universe. Beckham really does look good on this file. Now half an hour gone. It's Celtic to try and get themselves back into the game. Melby with a long ball. And oh, that's gone to Nakamura. That's a beautiful pass there. But we do get the ball away. And all oh, was just about to say any nerves we might have had might have been calmed. But it's not looking like it. Or actually, maybe so. Raul again. And Beckham, he's in behind. Almost. Can he? He needs some help here. And he gets it. Goes to Zidane. To Figo. Back to Zidane. Beckham's in space. Goes for the cross, and it's 2 0. It's 2 0. And that's Ronaldo with the second. And we are running rampant here. Oh my gosh. Celtic are stunned. Celtic, who dominated the first half hour, somehow find themselves behind. What a cross from Beckham. Absolutely pin point onto Ronaldo's head let's have another look at that round the man and Ronaldo knew exactly where to be and now it's Johnston out wide if he can get one back there might be a few more nerves force and they have oh they've walked that in they have absolutely walked that one in what has happened to our defence have a look at the old school Celtic kits there as well Absolutely loving the kits on here, but not loving the defence. Oh my gosh, Hell Guerra is angry, but I think you was at fault as much as anybody, my man. Johnston got the ball, and once he played it through, we was all over the shop. And now Beckham, he needs to beat his man here, he has. And always tried to cross it there, but he's been fouled at the last second. And is that going to be a card? No, it's not. It's just going to be a talking to for the man there. And you can see it there. Blatant foul. Just desperately trying to stop Beckham getting the ball in. But there we go. He's going to be taking the free kick. He crosses it in. And oh, almost free one there. What a first half that was. That was a very, very good first half. Celtic bossing the first half hour. Very unlucky to be behind. 
as you see the map stats we've had four shots two on target both of those two hitting the back of the net Celtic have had four with three on target so it's been a very even game just it's been our clinical finishing which has given us the lead and so let's go and get started with the second half Figo with it oh he needed Carlos to go past him finally he does and he gets the cross in but it's headed away Beckham with the volley and yeah a little bit better at crossing he is than suiting Johnston's in again he's played it forward to Nicholas and Celtic are in against the runner play but Cassias with a world class save there absolutely digging out his defence which was all oh, let's see we're going to take Rayle off for Di Stefano and we're going to bring Guti on for Redondo and that's why Zidane's not been getting forward he's only been set as a central midfielder that's something I'm going to have to remember for the next game is to set him as a more attacking midfielder and now Celtic with their fourth corner of the game and it's Salgado with it and oh so close there to Celtic nicking themselves a late equaliser might be one more chance here no 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 uh oh uh oh oh this is not looking good no oh oh oh, oh. What a way to end the game. We survive with the win. Those two goals in eight minutes in the first half. Giving us the win. And so let's go and have a look at the match stats. We had six shots to Celtic seven. Two on target to their four. Only 44% of possession to their 56 oh we were lucky to win that game we was very very lucky to win that game and huzzah that is the fifth game i've won on superstar so now i can play in legend mode so that's quite cool and so let's have a look at the other scores roma beat manu 2-0 barcelona beat marseille 1-0 Munich by Munich beat Arsenal 2-0 Chelsea beat Benfica 1 goal to nil AC Milan beat Atletico Madrid 1-0 Ajax thrashing Dortmund there 4-1 Porto 1-0 against Inter Rangers and Valencia draw 1-1 and Juventus beating Liverpool 1 goal to nil and so guys that is where we are going to leave it for today the next episode is gonna be the game you can see right there us away to as roma that should be a very very good game if you've enjoyed this video give me a massive thumbs up down below subscribe to the channel for more pro evo content fm20 content when that game comes out and planet zoo content I am planning at some point this week, maybe even tonight or tomorrow night uh, as the video comes out to be doing a live stream on Planet Zoo. So please do subscribe for all that good stuff. Follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming. And yep guys, I shall see you next time. Bye.